Jesus is on the throne and all is well. Today, Tuesday, February 9th, 2021, Pastor Dennis Amos Amojong, my spiritual father, has a beautiful word for you and me entitled, Refuse to Live in Fear. Refuse to Live in Fear. Our opening scripture is taken from the book of Job, chapter 3, verse 25. It reads, For the thing which I greatly feared is come upon me, and that which I was afraid of is come unto me. Pastor Dennis says, The doorkeeper of Satan is fear, and whatever you allow yourself to fear is coming for you, because by fearing it, you have given it authority over your life. That is how the devil works. He exaggerates anthills to look as though they are mountains. Fear is faith in the ability of your enemy to destroy you. Once you are fearful, it means you directly or indirectly believe that the devil has mastery over you. Fear paralyzes your faith. Then it prevents you from drawing results from the spirit. The moment you become fearful, you activate vulnerability to the devil's schemes. But if you refuse to fear, no matter what that disease has done before, no matter how many it has ravaged, it is a toothless dog before you. As a believer, you have to know that the one that is in you is the one who has the key to life and death. You have eternal life in you. God has not given us a spirit of fear. He has given us a spirit of power, a spirit of love, and of a sound mind. You can see that for yourself in 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7. The devil is a powder-packed lion. Therefore, refuse to give room to fear, because greater is he that lives inside of you than he that is in the world. Glory to God. Our meditation scriptures. The first one is taken from the book of Isaiah, chapter 43, verse 1. It reads, But now, thus says the Lord who created you, O Jacob, and he who formed you, O Israel, Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by your name. You are mine. Our second meditation scripture is got from 1 John chapter 4, verse 18. It reads, Perfect love casts out all fear. Our one-year Bible study plan today, please read Exodus chapter 17 and chapter 18 and also read Mark chapter 9. So right now, I request you to rise up on your feet, lift up your hands so we can declare these words together over our lives. Please repeat after me. My mind stays on the word Thus, I have a sound mind. I dwell continually in perfect peace. The peace that is beyond human comprehension. I abide in the sacred place of the Most High. I'm safe and no evil shall happen to me. I refuse to fear. For God has not given me a spirit of fear but of power, love, and a sound mind. Glory to God. Come on, begin to speak in tongues as you put on the spirit of power, of love, and of a sound mind. In Jesus' name, amen. Shalom.